Okay, uh, are there lost civilizations in our past? I mean, the pyramids wouldn't have, you know, you know, right, you know. Let's take a look, guys. When we think Let's about alien down. civilizations, we tend to look into the vastness of space to faraway planets. But there is another incredibly vast dimension that we might be giving too little thought to. Time. Could it be that over the last hundreds of millions of years, other civilizations existed on Earth? Indigenous technological species that rose and died out, and that they or their artifacts are buried beneath our feet. What does science have to say about this, and what are the implications for us? No, but, hmm. Wouldn't we have seen proof about them? Oh, banana bread, you never eaten banana bread? Life on Earth has existed for four billion years, mostly as single-celled organisms, until some 540 million years ago, the Cambrian explosion crazy, heralded man? the age of animals. A it's huge so time window for our indigenous aliens. Where would we look for them like, 40 million years ago? When we talk about life in the universe, you have to survive all of this, like no asteroids, no cataclysmic events, and then life can be made. You have to survive a planet. The life on a planet has to survive this phase first, until there even is a chance for something oh, intelligent. The Cambrian explosion heralded the age of animals. A huge time window for our indigenous aliens. Where would we look for them, and what could we hope to find? Sadly, we have only one civilization to look at: ourselves. Anatomically modern humans emerged around 300,000 years ago and probably lived in small groups of hunter-gatherers slowly spreading around the world. Progress was slow and our lifestyle didn't change much, although there may have been local bursts oh, of complexity. So Until about 10,000 years ago when the agricultural revolution changed our lifestyle forever, enabling massive population growth and technological progress. Rather than just animals with culture and tools that would have been invisible from space, we changed the face of the planet, cleared forests and constructed cities and temples for our gods at breathtaking speeds and scales. Until about 300 years ago, we became an industrial species and yet again our numbers grew exponentially as did our impact on the planet. We could say that our 300,000 year long history has three phases. We were hunter-gatherers for 97%, farmers for 2.9%, and industrialists for 0.1% of our man. history. And yet, we are super new on Earth. Hmm. On geological timescales, even the sturdiest things lose their durability. The oldest large-scale surface is the Negev Desert, a meager 1.8 million years old. Everything older has been crushed to dust or turned over and it's either below the ground or covered by ice or ocean. <laughs> Our age, the Anthropocene, will be a layer only a few centimeters thick in a few million years. If there were aliens before us and they too went through these three phases, what would remain of them? What can we learn about indigenous aliens by <clears> looking <throat> at ourselves? We fucked up the planet and just one percent of our existence. Yeah, kind of an achievement. We then. actually know that in the last few million years Four there were hunter-gatherer aliens. Our ancestors, like Homo erectus, and cousins like the Neanderthals or Denisovans, and probably many more that we haven't found yet, or are lost to time forever. They left fragments of their bodies, of weapons and tools, and even art. Considering how Did long they, they existed magic? and how little remains they of them, although they lived not that far from our present... Dude, it... sometimes, right, this is very nerdy. But man, the world is so full of fucking pain. Sometimes, right, like, I, I, I gotta show you. Like, this morning I had five minutes, right? And I do this thing now. But, dude, I don't mind what you say. So this is behind me, right? And, man, I can't... I can't... So this is behind me, right? And And, and lately, like today... I had five minutes free time, so I was just like doing this. I was just looking at my magic cards, bro. Look at grandpa, huh? Look at grandpa. Look at grandpa, bro. I can't think about it. Good thing this guy doesn't have to see all that war shit anymore, man. Ugh. 
And I just look at my magic cards like a fucking it's easy to think there have been But in these dark times, you need something positive, dude. Intelligent animals like us that could talk and use tools and fire. I might have some magic cards in the, the letterbox. For the last two look. million years, most hominins lived as hunter-gatherers. So if these aliens never Crap, moved up looking, higher on the tech them, tree, dude. hundreds of different species and cultures could have existed without leaving any traces. Their artifacts lost to biological and then geological processes. At worst, Gives they would leave absolutely today, nothing to be found after thousands of years. Can I cringe, man? But what about fossils? We well, talked about how day, unlikely about the process that. of fossilization one is one in more detail today. in our dinosaur video. But in a nutshell, per 100,000 years of Earth's history, we only get a handful of good fossils. True. So we might easily just miss fossils of such people, but even if we had any, we wouldn't necessarily be able to identify them as hunter-gatherers. Agricultural <laughs> and empire the currency of the world collapses. Maybe, Looking at humans again, agricultural societies left much more to be dug up and found because they used more sophisticated tools made from sturdier materials and had to feed millions, leaving many more artifacts. Farming allowed them to specialize and develop tech from writing to navigation, architecture and government. Over thousands of years, city-states became kingdoms and empires, some existing for millennia before they fell. Many of the buildings or monuments they constructed are still around, and traces of them will exist for a few thousand more years. I sometimes have a weird fantasy, uh, maybe you have that too, where imagine you experience the entire history of the human race in real time as some kind of god. What I mean is, you right now get spawned at the first humans. And you are like an immortal god, but you, you, you're not great. You can't like teleport stuff out of nowhere, but you're kind of immortal, right? And you are part of human history for the next 2,000 years. Um, and, and you just watch them and you're part of them and stuff. It's an interesting fantasy, what what, what you will do and stuff. It will probably be very dumb because uh, the, 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 the history of the world will completely change. Uh, like the emperor of men, yeah, it would, would be boring after some years. Ah, life is already boring after 20 years. Uh, will probably be boring for a long time. Listen to too much Warhammer. Be interesting. Some only as outlines in the ground, but still recognizable to future archaeologists. Yeah, you will literally be the empire of the pyramids uh, emperor of are mankind, piles yeah. of limestone so massive that they will probably be around for hundreds of thousands of years. And because of the greater numbers of humans that lived during our farm and empire period, we can expect way more fossils and artifacts to be detectable, maybe for a few million years before they vanish. So we can say with confidence that no such indigenous well, alien the civilization future? existed in yeah, the, the last few exciting. million years, because yeah, otherwise we would have found something that they left. This still leaves a window of hundreds of millions of years, back to the emergence of complex life where we wouldn't be able to tell. If there were alien pre-industrial societies <laughs> and empires on the level of the ancient <laughs> the Romans or Chinese, they would have likely disappeared without a trace. Their tools, even advanced metals, would have rotted away. If they dug up canals, cleared forests, and that built cities, very, very their traces would be like very zero hard to distinguish from nature. So it never touched Maybe me too there much. was once an empire of cephalopods occupying impressive cities in swamps and lakes made from wood and stone. Their engineers flooding land to the build wet nice cities. About this their poets reciting about poems in a language of colors. Maybe they never industrialized. Maybe their society was too stable or not inventive enough, or they never got a chance. A single event like an asteroid, an epidemic, or an ice age could just have deleted their civilization, ground up their temples as their soft bodies rotted away. Maybe, maybe, Sadly, maybe. we don't have the tiniest amount of evidence for any such civilization. After a few Atlantis? million years of best, their that, achievements <laughs> would have dissolved into nothing. Industrial indigenous aliens. What about industrial civilizations like humanity today? Imagine humans died out suddenly through a pandemic or cosmic rays or something like that. What that would sounds remain? Very our impact March. on the planet is orders of magnitude greater than that of our ancestors. The fossil record will show a great extinction of wildlife and an explosion of fossils from human-associated animals like rats, cows, pigs and chickens. 
like the structures of our ancestors, skyscrapers and... Dude, imagine like millions of years aliens are landing here, the whole planet is fucked and they found our remains. Imagine an alien lands here in millions of years and finds your remains that were like stuck in some thing where they got preserved, man. Streets crazy and to think hard about. drives will basically crumble into nothing. And then you gotta find the action be special. Isn't that crazy? But because there were so many humans everywhere for a few million years after our sudden end, there would be clear hints of our existence. Yeah. The byproducts of our industrial lifestyle might actually give us away for some hundreds of millions of years. The uranium we use especially. massive amounts of artificial fertilizer, which redirects Earth's flow of nitrogen that is being deposited in the soil. Mining metals and rare earth elements leaves long-term scars and depletes natural resources. We saturate our oceans with plastics that find their way to the ocean floor and may persist for hundreds of millions of years. Look, the first thing the aliens see when they come here is a plastic bag on the there water, man. What a sad race we are, after Unnatural all. accumulations of elements yeah, this shit that don't exist be. outside right. labs or weapons. And of course, in our short industrial history, we have changed the proportion of CO2 in the air by burning massive amounts of fossil fuels. They might fuels, find your magic cards and they will the love them, the okay? I'm so going to check my uh, brief. We may already brief have box? left a mark Post in the geological in record. So far, we have found no traces of an industrial alien civilization. No layers of weird chemicals or displaced elements. No yeah, this seems very, very far indicate that once great nations waged very nuclear war. Video. We do see mass extinctions and massive shifts in the fossil records, but no evidence that they did not occur naturally. Just assuming a thing happened because we don't have evidence against it is a trap we should avoid. So for now, if we look at the vastness of time, it seems as devoid of aliens as the vastness of space. Maybe we are alone in this universe and always were. Maybe we'll find traces of others eventually, we don't know. But there is one important takeaway. The continuation of our civilization is not guaranteed. And if we're not careful, okay, we may disappear Putin. forever. Let's hope that in a few million years, there isn't another civilization studying our layer in the fossil <laughs> record. The <frog> people. <laughs> it's frustrating to know there are so many things and in our past we can't access. Yeah, good video. Obviously good video, but like far-fetched stuff that's really really uh hypothetical and stuff that that never really touches me too much